morning, prisoners, and good morning, epic Minecraft gamers. How you guys going today? There are so many things to show you you would not believe. It's been like a week since the last episode, and there's a damn good reason for that. I was moving house, which means I didn't have all this gaming set up going and ready to record, but I did have my computer working, so I've been spending all the time where I would have been recording Minecraft instead just playing and making a whole bunch of advancements to the base, which uh, will hopefully help us going forward. Now, today's a very big day. In the last episode, obviously, we conquered the Ender Dragon. Check out that little egg in the background right there. You see it? It's beautiful. I love it. It's my new favorite thing in the house. But today, it means it's time to conquer the End Cities. First things first, I got things to show you because changes have been made. And let me... What, what the f... That is not set up at all, and I have no idea what that is. And to be honest, I'm actually quite con confused and scared. Because if that thing goes down and blows up our XP farm, I'm going to be really pissed. Yeah, so first change you might notice is I moved our rail car track, but uh, we'll go into that later. The big change that you probably noticed is the entire bedroom has been redesigned. I built this little platform for the bed. Don't know if I like it yet. This is the only work in progress bit, but the rest of it's looking pretty good. Now you can see we got our dining table right here. We got a little bit of a fireplace. The trophy cabinet, you guys might remember I built at the end of the previous episode. I don't know, like it was all right, but it really, it really didn't look that good. So I decided to totally rebuild it and make something much, much classier. This one right here, I, I, I actually completely copied off uh, another Minecraft YouTuber called Mumbo Jumbo. I saw he built it and it, it looked pretty. There's one extra thing he had, which are these things called end rods that he had kind of like going across the top that looked absolutely sick. I obviously don't have an end rod yet, but hopefully we're gonna get some of those today and then our trophy cabinet will be complete. Now, obviously there's a little bit more to show you and one of the first things you might notice is Muselk. Why would you have your only enchanted diamond sword sitting in that little frame there? Well, that's no longer our only enchanted diamond sword. This is Longclaw. That's right, the sword that we lost when we went to the water temple because I read a whole bunch of comments telling me that, well, I, I could I could actually go back and get there and actually reclaim all my items because they only despawn in five minutes if you're inside that chunk. So I went back, I found all the items. That's how we also managed to, to build a whole bunch of sea lands because I was able to get all the ingredients we got back there. Long story short, we now have a spare set of diamond armor. We got a spare long claw and I just chucked the, the golden armor that was over at the bed. I put it in here as well. All right, time to continue the tour. Uh, honestly, down here, there's just like a little thing to show you, nothing, nothing crazy. I built a trash can, which I can't really show you, but basically this, this funnels everything I throw in here down into like a dispenser that then shoots it into a lava pit. This is all the stuff that we reclaimed when I went back and found my body. So you, we got the, we got the fish, we got all the, the empty bottles of, of the of the water breathing potion that I forgot to drink. And we've still got a few leftover prismarine crystals because I went and harvested as many of the uh, lands as I could when I went back there. Now it's time to show you the really, really cool stuff. You might have noticed a little something on the top level. First things first, there's no longer a waterfall here. So how do we get down? There's no possible way. We've got the minecart, which that, uh, that creeper stole. <laughs> the way that we get down is I built an elevator, boys. Look at this thing. Another, I, I literally basically spent like two days just watching uh, redstone tutorials on, on, on how to build crazy contraptions. And let me tell you, all of this took a very, very, very long time to build. Now, this uh, this elevator actually was surprisingly simple. I, I think I built this whole thing in maybe about, maybe like a half hour, 45 minutes. But the part that actually took me longer is I realized in, in the one that was in the tutorial, once the elevator's up there, this button normally has no way to get it back down. It only activates the elevator to go up or down when it's on the correct level. And I then built this ridiculous redstone thing that goes all the way up there and another one that goes all the way up there. So if if I if it's not on the correct level, I can now press this and it triggers it to come back down to me. That might sound simple, but trust me, I didn't realize that redstone doesn't go in like two directions. It, 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 was, a, it was a complete and utter nightmare to get that thing built. What the... All right, someone, okay. What are you doing with that sheep? This isn't New Zealand, get out of here. New Zealand subscribers, I love you, I love you, I love you. That was a joke, that was comedy. Don't hold it against me. Now, the next thing to show you is this sucker right here. I, I haven't fully finished really doing it yet. Like it's basically built. I don't really like how it looks right now, but this 
is the vault. This is where we're gonna keep all our top secret expensive things. And if we look in here, I gotta find a better spot to hide the lever. It opens that three by three door into this giant, beautiful room. Now, what are we gonna put in here? Don't, don't quite know yet. But right now it's a very cool looking room and that's all that matters. You got Pete the Sheep's memorial, which is no longer Pete the Sheep because they stole his remains, those evil sons of guns. I have made one other key change. Considering our goal today is to go back and forward to the end, I decided we needed to build a much more efficient path to get there because obviously it was like a thousand and, and something blocks in that direction. So I decided to build ourselves a little bit of a nether track, which lets us go back and forward in each direction really, really quickly. So all the chickens that escaped into the nether, they're stranded here now and they're never leaving. So down here, I decided to dig a really, really long tunnel all the way through the nether, which leads us right to the portal, which then leads us all the way to the end portal. Now this track might seem long, but it's actually not as bad as it looks. Kind of just come around the corner here, shoot up this, and there's the portal. So it takes like about a minute to get back and forward as opposed to like the 10 minutes it would have taken before. And we come through here, uh, and we've just got this straight pathway. I, I didn't calculate the distance perfectly right, unfortunately, but we're pretty much there at this point. Just run along here, go down these steps, and uh, voila! We're at the end portal. So today we're going to be going back. We're going to be getting our equipment. We're going to be jumping down this. God, that's really weird to look at. I don't like that. We're going to be jumping back towards the end. We're going to be going to the end cities. We're going to be finding all the cool things. I'm going to get the, the end rods that we need to power up my trophy cabinet, make it look a little bit better. And hopefully we're going to get our hands on those wings that everyone keeps talking about. They're called Elytra. Ali Are they called Elytra? I need to Google that one. They're called something like Elytra. But first things first, let's get back to the base. Let's get our equipment. Let's get geared up and let's get ready to go back to the end. This is the start of a grand adventure, everybody. A grand, grand adventure. Should I probably go with a bow so that we can actually fight things properly? Yes. But are we going to? No. Why? Because I'm lazy. I'm excited. I'm also terrified. We got diamond everything equipped, which means we're going to be hard to kill. But if things go wrong, oh God, don't run away. Don't run away. We got diamond everything, which means, like I was saying, we're going to be harder to take out. But if we uh, if we lose everything, it's going to be so sad. I, Long Claw 2 is the most beautiful sword that ever existed. And if we lose it, I will cry. And then I've also got Bang Energy, baby. Rose, Rose, it's a new flavor that I'm drinking. And it's delicious. All right, let's get in there, boys. I forgot that's not the portal that leads to the end. I mean, I know that's obvious, but uh, I, I, I was going like full hype mode. We, we still, we got it. We got to go down this corridor. But then we're at the portal that leads to the end. All right, three, two, one. We're going in, boys. Oh, I don't like spawning on the edge like this. I forgot to bring just like a stack of 64 some. You know what? Screw it. It's fine. That's why I repaired our pick before we left. All right, here we go. We got our blocks. Let's build up. Now, the only thing I don't know is when we come back through this thing, how will that work? Because I don't want it to just like teleport me into midair and then I fall to my death. So I feel like we might just build a little bit of a platform around the edge, you know? So if it does do that, I don't immediately die. Better safe than sorry, especially when you're carrying full diamond armor with... I mean, I do have slow fall potions, but the armor doesn't have anything to stop fall damage. Let's throw the ender pearl in. This better work, you lying sons of guns. Oh, hey! Oh wow! Oh my god! Oh, I still do not have enough blocks for this, do I? I'm ac I'm actually an idiot. Gonna mine some of this, and then I also gotta remember I got the Ender Pearl, so I can throw them to reach that main island if I need to. All right, here we go. Let's build out. Imagine if I let go of ship, or imagine if my keyboard just like screwed up a little bit and, I and it just stopped for like half a second. All right, how we do? Oh my god, that thing is so much further away than it looks. Oh my god, is that- there's an end city. We actually got an end city. I don't know if you always get an end city. I don't know if this is lucky or not. But either way, I'm gonna assume it is and I'm gonna celebrate. All right. We made it! All the haters out there said it couldn't be done. They said, Muselk, you're gonna die. They said, Muselk, you don't stand a chance at this part of the game. Well, let me tell you, I did it! I don't even know what this stuff is. What is that? Oh, chorus fruit. Is that good? What I'm Oh, yeah, boys. Watch me just get too distracted by harvesting this that I'm not even gonna bother to go and get all of the stuff that I actually need. I'm gonna totally forget about finding the elytra or any of the other valuable things that are held in the end cities. I'm gonna be too busy getting all this. All right, that's probably enough chorus fruit for now. Yeah, we got 64. I'd say we're looking good. Here we go, guys. Our very first end. What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here. Get out of here. Did I get it? Hey! 
Okay, no way. A, sh a shulker shell. Okay, that must be like the enemies that inhabit the end. Oh my god. Get out of here. I got a diamond sword and I'm not afraid to use it. Whoa. Oh my god. That gives you a cloud effect so you float upwards? That's diabolical. Oh, that's why it told me to bring this, the potion of slow falling. Okay, yeah, that is suddenly a really useful thing to have. This is why we read Wikipedia before going exploring dangerous places. What do you got at the top of this? Okay. Oh, God. Okay, we've been hit again. This is actually helpful. Let's just go up. Let's, okay, are these like homing missiles? All right, you need to die. You need to go. Thank you. All right, that's one shulker down. And there are more of them still shooting at me. Holy crap. I did not know that shulkers were this weird. Okay, yeah, let's really hold on to those potions of slow falling. Bro, that is actually terrifyingly dangerous. Oh my god, no. I want to go down. I want to go down. Oh, this is why I should have bought a bow. I'm an idiot. Oh. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Eat. 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 I almost just fell to my death. Bro, this is so not good. Oh, I'm so not prepared to be here. This is like the ender dragon all over again. I know what I need to do. Watch this. Watch this. hey -ya. Oh god, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get me down. I need to go down. Let me down. All right. Ooh, the end rods are here though. Let's at least get these. We might have to go home. Honestly, if, if I'm being perfectly honest, we might have to go home and, uh... And uh, definitely bring a bow this time. Three days later. We got our bow this time. We got a whole bunch of arrows. We got our slow falling potions. And I am ready to take these suckers on. Can I spot any of them from... I swear there was one like under this bridge. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're going up. We'll find it once we get there. Yeah, this really explains why people were telling me to bring a bow. I need to listen to people and not just assume everyone's lying to me. There we go. Come on. That's another one down. One right there. That's another one down. All right, I think we got enough of them from the top of the tower. It's time to attack the main tower, guys. We're going in. Oh my God, there's one right there. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Get me inside. Oh my God, I made it. Why is there an enderman in here? That seems like cheating. Far out. Get out of here, you stupid little. Open up. Ha! Idiot shouldn't have opened up. This has actually got to be where the good loot is. There's got to be something good up here, right? It's a freaking end city. Oh my god, that's not good. That's bad. Far out. Far out. It's a room filled with them. All right. Let's get him. I need to pick targets. Pick targets. That's one down. Where are the rest of them? That's another one down. And another one. Yes, come on. You're out of here. Take him out. Oh my god, chests. Yes, boys. This is what I'm talking about. We got iron. We got gold. We got all the good stuff. More iron. Ooh, a bit of an enchanted iron breastplate. Don't mind if I do. All right, let's keep going. We're not even at the... Oh my god. Okay, I got a potion of slow falling just in case. Is there anything up here? Oh, okay, there's nothing up here. Okay. There we go. We conquered... Our very first end city tower, but I still don't see an end ship. That is so, I, I literally, I looked it up on Wikipedia. There is an 80% chance of an end ship spawning with an end city. We are that unlucky. We're staying in the end because I am not leaving until I found one of those ships. But we are going to get our way down from here. I don't need to walk down like a peasant. I've got ender pearls. Let's go down the cool kids way. Yeah, yeet. Hey! So apparently every single time you defeat the Ender Dragon, it creates a new end portal, which will then take you to a different area of the end, which then makes it a more efficient way of finding end cities. Unfortunately, I would much rather not fight the End Dragon again. So we're just going to run around like this and hopefully stumble onto another city. How long am I going to have to walk through this end area, dude? The thing is, it's not even like exploring in the overworld, right? Where you just kind of, you know, you're going along. You're just exploring. It's more like time is the only annoying bit. Here is so much more annoying to explore because you need to always be like fully switched on, fully wired, and fully paying attention to what's going on. Because if you take your eye off the ball for even a second, one of these cheeky little bugs is probably going to knock you off the side of the island to your death. Speaking of which, we need to re-energize, boys. Let's go. The Enderman doesn't stand a chance. You guys think you're going to sneak up on me? Not anymore. I'm wired to the teeth, baby. I'm energized. All right, I'm gonna cross over to this island next. Oh my god! End ship, baby! Oh, whoa. 
Oh, there is another end city. Yo, and this one's floating, dude. All right, let's get over there. Oh, that looks sick. That, okay, that city looks at least two and a half times cooler than the one that I attacked before. And we're gonna have to, oh, I guess you threw the ender pearl from there onto the ship. That's terrifying, but cool. All right, we're gonna clear the tower first. And then we're gonna get onto the boat. All right, up we go. All the way to the top, baby. Oh, poke your head out. Come on, he pokes his head out. Ha <laughs> ha, we got him. Poke it out again. Got him again. Hey, that's one down. I'm making a run for it. Go, 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 Oh, I climbed the wrong tower. You've got to be kidding. All right, we're going back. God, this is actually evil. It's just the whole design of these buildings is designed to kill you. I know that's like obviously the whole point, but still it's evil. All right, that's the tower we need to climb. Oh, I love going up really, really high. It's simultaneously like terrifying and also assuring in a weird way that they give you that low gravity effect because it does mean if they hit you, it's not going to knock you to a falling death. Oh my god, there's so many in here. Holy crap. Holy crap. Bro. Slow falling. I'm drinking that. All right, time to fight. There are so many. I gotta eat. Eat that, eat that, eat that. Oh my god. We need to start taking all these guys out. We got the slow falling, so I don't have to worry about the thing timing out and killing me. Jesus, dude. I thought the last tower had a lot of them. I think there's like two more to go. Come on. And all righty. All right, we made it to the top of the tower again. Oh yeah, more gold. Oh my God, a diamond sword, dude, really? I, <sighs> see, I'm not even really gonna grab the armor. Oh my God, I did not realize that this place had that good a loot. Where's that ship? Oh, okay. So when we wanna go to the ship, we go that direction. I kinda wanna quickly, there's one more tower that we gotta check out. Just for the sake of making sure that we've, oh, I got slow falling on, yay. All right, let's go see if there's anything in this tower. There's an ender chest. Oh, that's sick. Okay, we can put like everything that I don't need on me in there. All right, ender chest. Okay, pretty much done. That's all the really valuable stuff that we found. All right, I think we've cleared this entire place. Now, the only thing left is to go and check out the ship. Oh my God. Oh my God, the freaking slow falling, slow falling potion wore off. Ah! It's time to head to the ship. Please tell me this works. Come on. Yes, dude! Oh no, dude! Get out of here. Get out of here. You chick, why would you be here? That is just evil. Get out of there. Get out. Be gone. All right, get me inside. For the love of God. Ooh, what is this? Potion of healing? Don't mind if I do. Now, where are the wings? Oh my God, they must be down here, right? This guy will be guarding him. I need him. That's them! In the frame! Come on, peek out. Do it. Do it. Ha <laughs> ha idiot. Should have stayed in your shell. Now what do we got in here? Oh my god, more diamond boots, diamond shovel. I never knew how ridiculously good this place is. And there they are. The Elytras. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna be real. I got no idea how to use that thing. We're just gonna leave it for now. Let's let's just quickly see anything else on the ship. I think that's it, right? Oh, is that a dragon head I see? That is kinda pretty sick. Can you equip the dragon? Oh my god. <laughs> Hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> my god, that looks so ridiculous. All right, well, let's let's put that back on for now. Time for us to return back to where we came from. And as soon as we get back to our base, you best believe we're trying out these wings. Let's go. Hey, you stupid Enderman. I'm out of here. See you all later. We're home, baby! Oh, this is what I'm talking about. All right, how would, the, how would this dragon head look here? All right, a little bit big. Thing is, like, this isn't exactly a trophy. I mean, it kind of is. You know what? That's a bit of a trophy of our first ender city that we conquered. It's time to take our very first flight. I'm going to put the ender chest here on the ground. Oh, yeah, and then we can pull out all the extra stuff that we got, dude. All right, I'm actually going to take off all my armor and put it in the chest. I literally have never used one of these before. So I have no idea how it works, which means I feel like there's pretty good odds of me falling to my death the first time we try and use it. 
So putting all our good stuff in the uh, in the chest is just that's just responsible. I think we're ready to go. We have the elytra. You equip it in your chest spot. I googled that. Oh my god, look at me. I'm beautiful. We need to climb the mountain. We need to get to the very tippity tippity top. Oh my god, there's already like a, there's already like a diving board like thing on top. You can see my bed right there. Okay, we have made it to the top of the mountain. As someone who has never flown before, this is either going to go incredibly well and it's going to be awesome. Or it's gonna just result in me falling to my death. But the good news is, we're gonna fall to our death right on top of where I respawn. So really, there's not that much to lose. All right, boys. Here we go. One for the road. One for the road. Let's get it! hey -ya! Oh my god, we're actually flying! Yo! This is unreal, dude! Oh my god! Hey, prisoners with jobs, how you doing? Oh my god, that was sick! Yo, I gotta go do that one more time. Get me back up there. I wanna see how far I can make it in one go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, this is so awesome, dude! Oh my god, look at me, I'm amazing. I'm the most beautiful thing in the world! And... Touchdown! I didn't want to go any further because I know there's a, uh... There's a, there's a lava pool over there. And I was thinking how dumb it would be if I flew right into it with my brand new wings. But guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, we got so much more to do. I'm pretty sure I heard that if you use fireworks, you can like keep yourself going with the wings. So we can just fly like 10,000 blocks in that direction. I got to go back and I got to find more of these things because, well, unfortunately, uh, this one is going to wear and tear. And I don't think you can put mending on it. Or if you can, that'd be that'd be kind of awesome. But that's all things for us to find out in the next one. If there's other adventures you want as well, check down in the comments below so I can check that out. But right now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.